Hello everyone, my name is Gillian and I'm the other half of the HR team at um, Heathcote College. Unfortunately, as Shadow has said, it's a very small team, it's a very small college, so we don't have any internships. But um, I've met quite a few of you because you work as sabbatical officers or student ambassadors and um, we give you numerous forms to fill in to, for, for, <laughs> for your SIDS. So that's part of what um, HR is all about. As Shade has said, it's a profession that has no barriers to entry. Your degrees, as um, Stephen has said, are perfect for um, the skills that you have acquired while studying philosophy, theology, or religious studies. And so you need not worry at all about getting into the profession. Just, you just have to de decide if it's the kind of thing that you would like to do. And if it is, you know, I would advise just go for it. Your skills are definitely transferable, so think of them, think of your education as a personal development opportunity that you had for three years. And so it's not about the subject, it's more about the skills that you um, bring to any profession. Um, just as a last note, because I work in recruitment, I see a lot of um, application forms and CVs. And um, I would advise that whatever you've heard about how you present yourself on paper is true. Because as somebody who sees these CVs to an application forms, you know, it's shocking sometimes what you see, <laughs> you know, as an administrator for people who are looking for work. So whatever you've heard about presenting yourself in a positive light, addressing the person's specification, and all of those things, they're all true. The, the employers do look at them. So do um, spend some time to think about how you want to sell yourself to a potential employer. Well, I'm here with Shadi, and if you have any questions about HR, or indeed anything else, because I do have a law degree, come and ask me. Thank you.